thank you very much because of all you have been doing for us. Thank you because of the name of Jesus that is mighty and powerful. Thank you for all your love, your care, and Lord, and all the things we've been seeing being done in our families. Thank you so much because you care about our homes, you care about our families. Holy Father, we pray this morning as we come before you that you will have your way, you will take control, you will rule and reign, and you will do what only you specialize in doing in the various home of everyone in Jesus' name. Spirit of the living God, as we make use of the book of Genesis and we go through it, and then we use it to pray this morning. What you have for us in that book, we pray, O oh Lord, that God, you will bless us through it, and lives, O oh God, will be touched, families will be transformed, as many families who are hurting, as many families who have been wounded, O oh God, by sin, wounded by satanic manipulation and maneuvering. I pray, Lord, that in the name of Jesus, you will deliver such home, you will rescue such home. In the name of Jesus Christ, Spirit of the Living God, take absolute control this morning. In Jesus' name, I pray. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to as many on the line. Uh, uh, welcome to our Monday prayer once again. We are very sorry last week we did not hold the meeting. And now we have changed the time for now to 6 a.m. And I'd uh, like to maintain this time because it's favorable for working class people, especially in Nigeria, because at least between six and seven, one can stay in to prepare for work. So the seven to eight has now been really favorable to me. So we trust the Lord that more people will join this time that will have brought it back to six to seven. And we trust the Lord too that God is going to visit us mightily and powerfully as we come every week, week as we come and then to seek his faith like this. Shall we begin to give thanks to God this morning? for granting us another privilege and opportunity to call upon his name, giving thanks to the Father who had made us to be partakers of the inheritance in light, who had delivered us from the powers of darkness and have translated us into the kingdom of a dear son, worshiping, praising, elevating, adoring, reverencing, and bow before his throne. Shall we begin to open our mouth and give thanks to God? Father, we thank you. We honor and glorify your name because of your power. Thank you because of your majesty. Thank you because of your glory. Thank you because of whom you are. 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 We are. Way you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Ooh, you are Yahweh. How far? Oh, me, ah, you are away, ah, ah, oh, me, ah. Want to say, give thanks to God, want to say, honor the Lord. I want to still worship the Lord, I want to really glorify His holy name. I will still want to thank the Lord for our family. Let's thank the Lord for all our fathers, all our mothers. Let's thank the Lord for our parents. Let's thank the Lord for our wives. Let's thank the Lord for our husbands. And let's thank the Lord for our children. Jesus, you are wonderful. Jesus wonderful, Jesus wonderful, 
Toya wants a wonderful Jesus wonderful. Imane wonderful. Jesus wonderful. Toya wants a wonderful. Jesus. Because you are God, you are God. Blessed be thy name forever. Hallowed be thy name forever. Adoration be thy name forever. Exaltation be thy name forever. You are good. You are kind. You are loving. You are merciful. You are compassionate. There is no one like you, God. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I want to go before God this morning. I want to ask the Lord to hear us even as we call upon his name. Nothing will stand as a barrier or as a barricade for our prayer this morning. I want to ask the Lord and say, Father, Hear our cry, hear our prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, shall we pray? Let's talk to God in prayer. In the name of Jesus, oh God, you will hear us. Oh Lord, Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, you will hear us, Lord. Nothing will stand as a barrier. Nothing will stand as a barricade. Lord, I pray that the Spirit of God, by the power of God, by the grace of God, hear us, O Lord. Hear us, O God. Hear us, O Jesus. Hear us, blessed Redeemer. In the name of Jesus, do something supernatural. Do something unimaginable. Do something extraordinary. Do something glorious, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. Every barrier in our lives, every obstacle in our life, whatever that we stand as a barricade, only goes you will take them away. Wash and cleanse and forge and purify. And let the blood of the everlasting covenant be applied to our heart now. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. We are reading from Genesis chapter 3. In Genesis chapter 3, I'm reading from verse 1. Genesis chapter 3, I'm reading from verse 1. In Genesis chapter 3, verse 1, very important uh, scripture. Genesis uh, chapter 3. Uh, now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord had made. And he said unto the woman, Ye had not said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Yeah. That verse 1 is very, very important. Now, we yeah. want to pray in the name of Jesus, whatever doubt and unbelief yeah. the devil is pumping yeah. into my spouse, in the name of Jesus, let the Lord remove, let the Lord take away. How does the devil destroy some people? How does the devil make some people to backslide? He makes them to begin to doubt God's word. He makes them to begin to doubt God's uh, or God's uh, presence and God's power and God's love for their life. Have you found some believer? They will just conclude that they have been abandoned by God. They will just conclude conclude that God does not love them anymore. Some of them, even when they have committed sin, when somebody has sinned, that's the right time again to even run to God and ask for mercy. And God being a merciful God, he will cleanse and he will purge. What the devil does is that he begins to pump all kinds of things into your heart. And then as he pumps those things in your heart, it makes it look like you cannot be forgiven anymore. It makes it look like you will remain in perpetual guilt forever. It makes it look like God has forgotten and abandoned you. 
it makes it look like God does not remember that individual anymore. And if that person is not careful enough, he will believe the lies of Satan, he believe the lies of the enemy. I want to pray, my spouse will not believe the lies of Satan. My spouse will not believe the lies of the enemy. Please pray for your wife, pray for your husband in the name of Jesus Christ. There are people who destroy some family is that they believe the lies of the devil, the lies of the enemy. It could be the woman that was deceived. It could be the wife that was being deceived. It could be the husband that was being deceived. And sometimes some of them will see some things in the dream and they begin to live their life based on what they have seen in the dream and not knowing that it's a deception from the pit of hell. Look at active what this is. We want to pray God and cry unto God and say, Father, my spouse, my wife, my husband will not believe the lies of Satan. My wife will not believe the lies of the enemy by the Spirit of God, by the power of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? We are praying and telling the Lord, we are asking the Lord this morning that the God of heaven will help my wife, that the God of heaven will help my husband. Our husbands will be helped, our wives will be helped. Oh God, make them spiritual. Oh God, make them discerning. In the name of Jesus, they will not believe the lies of Satan. In the name of Jesus, they will not believe the lies of the enemy. They will not believe the lies of the evil one by the spirit of the living God. Father, in the name of Jesus, Eve was the same, my wife will not be the same. Eve was the same, my wife will not be the same. Eve was the same, my wife will not be the same. Please pray and talk to God in prayer and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, the Lord will help your wife. The Lord will help my wife. The Lord will help our wives. Are you praying? In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Now, we want to quickly look at something here. Now, if you look at this play, we were told that it was, it was the, the devil, uh, the serpent was not subdued. Now, there are people that it not, it's not even serpent that we come. It's normal human being. And then you find the human being uh, having a modulus, uh, modulus plan, modulus plan to destroy some family, modulus plan to destroy some home. And then maybe the devil and the, the powers, you know, being jealous of this family. And then because of the peace they're enjoying, the prosperity they're enjoying, and all the various things they're enjoying. And so they will come in a subtle manner and begin to pump some things into the heart of the woman. And then they begin to say, ah, ah is that how you relate with your husband? Oh, no, me, I don't relate with my husband like that. And then they begin to listen to this person, not knowing that the agenda of that woman is to destroy their home. And unfortunately, uh, you know, when we say witchcraft, it doesn't necessarily mean uh, uh, somebody just flying in the night. No. Uh, when somebody begins to manipulate another person to get his own desire done, that's witchcraft. That's why there are pastors that will be regarded as wizard, witchcraft power. In fact, there are pastors who are using witchcraft manipulation, and they, they may not know it. Now, because what do you call witchcraft? Witchcraft is that you suspend the reason of somebody else. And then you don't do not allow the person to have any say. The person does not even know what he's doing. And then you manipulate the person to get your own wish and desire done, exploiting the person. That's witchcraft. Huh? That's what we call witchcraft. That's witchcraft right there. So it's not until somebody fly. If you look at a man in the Bible, we never told that a man was a witchcraft, a, a wizard. And then we were never told that he, he flew in the night. But as a matter of fact, the, the thing a man did and what he was trying to do was what we regard as witchcraft. He was trying to do everything to betray, everything to, you know, to present the Jews before the king Azaros as a wicked people. That's witchcraft right there. There are people in the church, they will go to the pastor and paint another family black so that the, the pastor begins to look at the family in one way, and then you find some people, they'll be going up and down, painting other people very black in order to gain favor and all that. That's witchcraft now. You don't have to fly in the night. No, you don't have to. You don't have to. And many, many are into this. 
And unfortunately, they might still claim to be Christian. <laughs> it's until the rapture takes place. That's when they will understand. They do not know that that's a manipulation from the pit of it. That was exactly what the serpent was doing here. Look at what he said. The serpent said, he said unto the woman, Yea, as God said, ye shall not eat of the tree of the garden. Yeah, God said. But the serpent was not trying to ask whether God has said. He was trying to uh, bring out an information. Now, this is to tell us that the devil does not know what we think until we utter it out. No, he does not. Why? Because the devil is not omniscient. He does not know. He's not omniscient. He does not know all things. He does not know what we are thinking. What he does is to manipulate and maneuver. He employs manipulation a lot, a powerful manipulation, a very powerful networking and manipulation. But he does not know what we think. He does not know it. He does not know it. We want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Every genealogy of serpent, as many women, men coming around my spouse to poison the mind of my spouse, to suspend that reason, so as to destroy my own. God will ostracize them for my family. Sometimes they can be family member. Sometimes they can be family member. God will ostracize them. Ostracize them, separate them. I mean, I'm not saying destroy or kill them, but God will separate them. But if they fail to repent, God knows how to handle them. Shall we go to the Lord in prayer right now? In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Now look at what happened in verse 2. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. But of the of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Lest ye die, lest ye die. Now, why was the woman even engaging with the serpent? Why? We are never told to engage with Satan. We are told to resist the devil. We are told to give him a charge, and then he will flee. We are going to pray that only God, the Lord will make our spouse to be discerning, not to be engaging and discussing with Satan. Do you know? There are some people, their mind will be telling them something. For example, have you find some young people that their mind will be saying, well, kill yourself now. Kill yourself. Go and commit suicide now. There are, they will just be hearing strange, strange things. And they go and do this one now. Or you are going and commit this one now. Now, go and do that one now. Or you are, talk to your husband this way. Talk to your husband in that manner. Talk to your wife in that manner. And then there are men and women who are like a remote control to Satan, and they just do exactly what Satan is telling them. If the Satan tells them to slap their wife, they will slap their wife. If Satan tells them, because God can never tell you to slap your wife, never, never, I mean never, I mean never, never, never. And then they just say, something told me to just maltreat the woman. Something told me to just do this. That is the devil right there. We are going to every infiltration of the devil into my home, into my wife, into, into my, my wife. husband. Today, by the power of the Holy Ghost, is we perpetrated. By the power of the Holy Ghost, it is dealt with. I destroy every infiltration of the devil in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, uh, Peter spoke something, and the, 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 our Lord Savior knew that that was the devil speaking to Peter, and he said, get thee behind me, Satan. That's exactly what we are telling the devil this morning. At another time, they were eating somewhere, and the devil entered into Judah. devil will not enter into my spouse. My spouse will not allow the devil. No wonder we are told in Ephesians 4, 27, neither give place to the devil. The devil will not enter my wife. The devil will not enter me. The devil will not enter us. Shall we pray? Please talk to God in prayer. When somebody will be coming jealous and jealous, when somebody is becoming envious, that's the devil right there. When somebody is becoming, you know, you just you just speak, uh, paint this one black, paint that one black, and then you gossip this one, and then you gossip that, that's the devil right there. And then when you discover 
that luck is pervading everywhere, that the victory you were once having over sin, you were no longer having it. You can see now the devil using your flesh, and then the flesh is overcoming you right there. That's the devil right there. It's not until you see the two on, you never fall to talk to God in every infiltration of the devil in our home is destroyed this morning. Satan will not enter my wife. And the devil and Satan enter into Judah. Judas actually gave allowance to Satan. My wife will not give allowance to Satan. I will not give allowance to Satan. Please, are you praying? Is anyone praying and talking to God in prayer there? The devil will not enter my home. The devil will not enter your home. The devil will not enter your home. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will not use your hand to bring devil into your house. You will not use your hand to bring Satan into your house. You will not use your hand to... Ah, my God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're going to pray for our children. You know, there was this movie called Kembesonu. And then you, you, you saw this young man, Akani, and uh, not our pastor. Okay, our pastor is Akamu, not uh, but this one, the name is Akani. And that, that young man was greedy, was a thief. And then he 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 he, co uh, the, he connived together with one of his friends and the, the 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 daughter of the king of the land. They connived together and then they went to the palace to go and steal all those their idols. And unfortunately for them, the 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 father and the mother, that's the Olori and the king, they they are giving their life to Christ. They no longer serve those idols. But even though they were no longer serving the idol, they pack all the idol and put it in one room somewhere. Even instead of them to burn them, they didn't burn them, but they just kept it in one room. And then this girl, they just went in there and they went to steal. And one of the idol, if you touch the idol, you will either die. Either die. Something. 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 They don't they touch don't, it. And the young man, when he when, when he, 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 he no the thing is talking back to me okay so when the young man saw that when he saw that it's better now when the young man saw that the 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 girl that's the friend because they pretended to be husband and wife uh, to to be a person or uh, somebody that wants to like fiance fiance. That's how they presented to the king and the the, the 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 queen, not knowing that it was just all lie. And then the king, the queen, they were happy that their daughter is about getting married, not knowing that they came to the village to steal the idol so they could go and sell it in in town in millions of naira. Eventually, what happened? That girl was struck by all this emery spirit because he touched the wrong idol. And then the young man started packing the idol in a sack and went away. But unfortunately for him, he didn't know that he was bringing problems to his family. Before you know it, one of the spirits of the idol appeared in their house and killed this. And in fact, he struck the sister. The sister started vomiting blow. What, what am I bringing all this? There are some family. The reason for the problem they are going through is their children. Is their children. We are going to pray. Our children will not invite devil into our house. Our Man. children will invite demons into our house. Our children will not become like children of Belia, who will become uh, an agent through which Satan will enter our house. Oh, Jesus, help my daughters. Help my daughter, my God and my father. Help my children, help my son, help everyone, oh Lord. By the Spirit of God, please talk to God in prayer. Don't say, oh, my children are born again. Yes, you can pray for them. 
Even if they are born again now, still pray for them. They will not deviate. They will not go back. They will not go into sin. They will not go into the devil. They will not go into the world. Shall we pray? In the name of Jesus, by the Spirit of the living God, by the power of the Holy Ghost, the devil will not afflict this family. My God and my Father, the devil will not afflict this Amen. family. Continue Amen. Anything that is not of God in your life, Father, you will remove. Amen. The point of God's favor, it will be by the power of God. You say, they will not introduce any manipulation, maneuvering, the Spirit living God, you will help me, God. You will help my Father. You will help my Savior. You will help my Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Sometimes, you hear uh, some of our brethren who are not married, and then a strange voice will be speaking to them about another lady, and then, or a strange voice may be speaking to them about another young man, another young man now, and then the lady or the sister will not even know, that's a strange voice, that's a, a, like the serpent speaking to Eve. And then they will not be able to discern, at the end of the day, they end up marrying the enemy of their soul. They end up marrying people that will destroy them and destroy their family. We want to pray for our single men and single women on the platform. Uh, we know that some are not married and they are on that platform. And obviously, they will be getting married. They will not miss it in life. They will mm. not miss it. Foundation will not be destroyed. Let's pray and cry to God that God will help all our single brothers and sisters that they will not miss it. Actually, if one misses it in, uh, in this uh, area, if one misses it, it takes only intervention. You begin to now pray some other prayer point here and there. But we are crying unto God and begging God that they will not miss it. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Spirit, by the grace of God, and by the mercies of the Lord, let the Lord show our single brothers and sisters mercy that they will not miss it. That's the prayer. They will not engage the children of Belia. They will not engage the serpent whereby they destroy their lives and destroy their soul. Many are only looking for beautiful leaders uh, beautiful ladies, Father, beautiful handsome men, they don't care about any other thing. Does he fear God? Nothing consigned them. Does he fear God? Nothing consigned him or her. Oh, uh, daddy is handsome. That's all. Daddy is working in Shell. Oh, daddy is working in NMPC. Oh, daddy is a tech person. He travel around the world. Uh, how about fearing God? How about having integrity? Is he a child of God? Many don't care anymore. I will convert him. I will convert her. I will do this one. I will do that one. Uh, they, they want to take the place of the Holy Ghost to convert, but they will not be the one to be converted later. We want to cry to God that our children will not make a great mistake. They will not make a, an irreversible mistake. Mistake that will cost them their life. Mistake that will destroy them now and eternity. Let's cry to God for our children. Please. Let's always be praying for our children. No amount of prayer can be too much. The world is in a terrible world. We are in a terrible world. We are in a dirty world. We are in a polluted world. We are an evil world. Let's pray. God, we shield our children. Shall we pray?
In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We are going to pray as we look at that passage again. We are going to see something there. And the serpent said in verse 4 to the woman, You shall not surely die. For God knew that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing it good and evil. When the woman saw, we are going to pray concerning our eye, that the God of heaven, the God of heaven, will deliver us from the lust of the eyes. Mm. God deliver us from the lust of the eye. When the woman saw, when the woman saw, oh Jesus, deliver us from the lust of the eye. How do some men go into adultery? They just watch movie, or they are watching movie, or they are on the internet, or they are on social media, and they just see a lady, and then they look at the 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 the, the sensitive part and all that, and then before you know it, some men will start masturbating. They start thinking all kinds of things, and the church men, church men, church men begin to go into pornography, begin to go into all silly things, lust of the eye. Want to pray? Let the Lord deliver from every lust of the eyes. Shall we pray? We will be dead to sin. We will be dead to self. We will be dead to the world. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. See it now, see it now. And it said, when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eye. Ha, Jesus. It was pleasant. What was going to kill her and destroy her and destroy her family, it was pleasant to the eye. We are going to pray a prayer now. And that prayer is found in the book of Psalm. Psalm. Let me show us. There's a prayer we will pray now. Eve saw that thing and he said it was pleasant to the eye. How can something that will destroy her be pleasant to the eye? How can something that will send her to internal perdition be pleasant to the eye? This is the prayer. This is the prayer. The prayer is found in Psalm 119. In Psalm 119. In Psalm 119, that's where the prayer is found. In verse 37, turn my eyes from beholding vanity. Turn my eyes from beholding vanity. Eve never knew that what she was looking at was vanity. We are going to pray our eyes will be turned away from vanity. The things that will destroy our children, our children will not set their eyes on them. The thing that will destroy my wife, my wife will not set her eyes on them. Amen. The thing that will destroy me as a pastor, you know how some pastor fell into sin? The thing that will destroy them became pleasant to them. The thing that wasted them became pleasant to them. How did some fall into immorality? The thing that ought to irritate them became pleasant to them. My God, in the name of Jesus Christ, turn my eyes from beholding vanity. Help me, O oh God, that my eyes will not become full of adultery. My eyes will not behold vanity. In the name of Jesus, help me, O oh God, that the error of Mother Eve will not become mine. The error of Mother Eve will not become mine. God, help my wife. Oh, Lord, help my wife. Jesus, help me. 
by the Spirit of God, and I pray for you, my family will not become pleasant to your family. The thing that will waste your family will not become pleasant to your family. And it was pleasant to the eyes of Eve. Hey, Jesus. And a tree to be desired to make one wife. Ah, that was why she was wasted. She was driven away in the name of Jesus. Let's talk to God in prayers. We pray. Amen. You hear cases. Now, let me give you an instance of a case. Now, uh, this one, I used to read some funny, funny story on social media. And although sometimes some of those stories may not be true, I, I what I saw, like what I saw yesterday, we learned some, some of this story. And then to, to see how human beings behave. Now, that's what he said. It's not so the restaurant so the supermarket here in Nigeria. And then can you hear me? Good morning. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. Right. So the story said that the man sold his uh, supermarket here in Nigeria for some millions of Naga. And then to come and begin to think, oh, this man is not compatible with me. And this is the man that brought her up. This is the man that helped her in life. And then she will not, she will not begin to think that this man is no longer, and then she, she begin to uh, disloyal to the man. Or is the man now that will begin to maltreat the woman like that, like that. Those people, their eyes have been open that we destroy them. I, I told my people in the church yesterday, there are prayers some people will pray. God will not even answer because God knows that if He answer them and He give them that money or He give them that kind of money they are asking for, that thing will destroy them. If we, instead of the money to help them, it will destroy them. Instead of the kind of money they are asking for, it will waste them. It will even make them. So instead of God to answer the prayer out of the love of God, God will allow them to mature before He answers the prayer. That's God. That's God. What to pray and tell God. Any attitude or behavior that my wife that we exhibit that we destroy our home, may God stop it now in the name of Jesus Christ. You see what he did? You see what he if she just concerned, it's like a sense was suspended. A sense it, it's like it was suspended. May the devil not suspend the senses of my spouse. May the devil not suspend the senses of my husband. May the devil not suspend the senses of my wife. Hey. My God, in the name of Jesus, the senses of my wife will not be suspended. The senses of my husband, oh God, will not be suspended. In the name of Jesus, oh God, that must to be allowed. Oh God, that must to be allowed. By the Spirit of God, that must to be allowed. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 A, lot of, a lot of prayer points to raise there in this scripture. Now, quickly, uh, before I will be calling on Pastor Matthew soon now. Now, but let me quickly speak in some verses more. And then, in that verse, after she had uh, taken it, she took up the food there and did it. Now
now the woman had eaten. Now she ate the thing she was not supposed to eat. And then after eating now, she also gave to her husband with her, and the husband did it. You see now, I I told the congregation yesterday, uh, what did I tell them? I think it was yesterday. I said, it is not every every area you listen to your wife. If you start, in fact, in fact, you have to even question the things, subjection by your wife. You have to question the things, subjection, lest you destroy your own. You have to confess on subjection with the scripture. You have to, uh, you know, check it all. Because your wife is the final say. The scripture has the final say. Your spouse is not the one that has the final say. The scripture, for a Christian home, the scripture has the final say. For a Christian home, for a Christian home, the scripture has the final say. And so you find a situation where uh, uh, the man does not want to offend the wife. And then he will just everything the wife tells him, and then he will just borrow, borrow, and be doing it. Thereby, he will plunge himself into gutter, he will plunge himself into trouble. Can you see now? There was no questioning. There was no question by Adam. Eve, where did you see this one? No question. Eve, who gave you this one? No question. You know, there are times my wife, I will just bring something to the house, and I love what she's doing. I love what my. My wife will just see the thing. And then sometimes she will just want to know, oh, uh, where did you see this kind of, uh, where did you, uh, who gave you, okay, I will just explain, oh, so, so person gave me. And then sometimes she will be reluctant to even give the children, oh, okay, oh, so, so person gave it to me, oh, so, so person. Sometimes it's not saying you have this trust for your wife or husband, no. You just want to find this one now. Oh, we're not having this one at home before, oh. Okay, you bought it. Oh, that's good. God bless you. And all that. Some, no question. You bring poison, no question. You bring this, no question. That was the problem of Adam. Adam was not available to ask questions. I want to play and cry on God that the error of Adam, we will not make that error. The error of Adam, we will not make it. Uh -uh, you are giving me food to eat. Yes, how is it? Yes, but it Yes, but it is before. I know we were not having banana in this house before. I know we were not having macaroni in this house before. Come on, in the name of Jesus Christ, help me, oh God, to be discerning, to be discerning, to be discerning, to be discerning, to be discerning. Let my antenna be high. Let my antenna, spiritual antenna, be high. Let my sensitivity be high. Help me not to be dull of the spirit. Help me not to be dull, dull. Oh, Jesus, help me. Amen. 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 I'm going to stop here. I'm not uh, I'm going to stop here.
request on that platform. Uh, and so, Pastor Matthew may handle that, but maybe I don't know for the person that's praying. I'm praying for the person that God will give the Father. I saw one prayer request there. God will deliver the person. God will rescue the person. Uh, the person has been having better since 2018, for what we saw. The person has been having issues since 2018. And then we are talking God, God can heal the person. God can heal the father of that person. God can deliver the father of that person. As a matter of fact, God will deliver the father of that person. As a matter of fact, God will deliver the father. Yes, this is it. We say, well, then this is my daddy. And he has been, it is 2018. His case is trained to a family. And I have ISIS. Other head problem. How can one person be having all of these problems? We want to pray that the Master Jesus uh, will cure all this. All this will be cured by Jesus. All this will be cured by Jesus. All this will be cured by Jesus. Oh, Jesus, cure. Oh, God, cure. Oh, God, cure. Cure. In the name of Jesus. Let the Lord cure this family. Let the Lord deliver this family. Shall we pray? Let's continue to pray for the uh, for the uh, for the Father that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the hand of the Lord will touch him. The grace Amen. of the Lord will be upon him. By the power Amen. and the blood of Jesus are in him that you have never been seen. Uh, the God of the Lord will do it upon the man in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's Amen. call upon him. The first thing now for him is to accept Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That if there's any way the Father have not known Jesus Christ before, or my Jesus Christ Father, before, we should let Father, that go. Father, let that go. Father, God will Father, bring Father, Jesus Christ Father, into him. He will bring himself to Jesus Christ. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ is going to accept him. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the grace to move with the Lord. The grace to move with the Lord that God will show the more in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm very sorry to bring a very personal uh, experience in, in this. I lost my junior brother about, I think about five years. I was so worried. And then I called Pastor that, 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 that since I have not prayed to this particular person that he gives up and then pastor that said you cannot tell me that this fact that you have not preached to him he has not heard the word of jesus christ so he said clear yourself of the 